Hi everybody and welcome to this third edition of the Getting Funded podcast. My name is Steve Livingston from IP Tax Solutions and BusinessN2K.com. This third video is on uh, Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme once again, Seed EIS or SEIS, and we're going to cover here what are the key tax benefits. Before we jump into this, just to reiterate, this is a, a series of very short, bite-sized editions podcasts, which you can either subscribe to on iTunes or we're going to have a channel on uh, YouTube where you can see some slides as well. Uh, they're very brief just because there's quite a lot of complexity to some of these rules and it's just a matter of keeping it short, sharp so that you can get the information you need when you need it. It's not a substitute for detailed, specific professional advice if your facts are complex, uh, but the idea is just to give you enough information such that you may well be able to proceed on your own or certainly if you need to engage with somebody to help you out then you will at least know what sort of questions to ask and have an awareness of the sort of factors you need to consider. Uh, this podcast, these videos are brought to you by IP Tax Solutions, the innovation tax specialists, specialists in uh, SEIS, EIS, R&D tax credits and the patent box. And uh, you can reach out to us if you need any further assistance on these matters. Uh, more information at the end of this. So if we want to dive into this one now, which is about the key tax benefits afforded by the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme. Okay, first of all, uh, the most famous part really is the income tax relief, which is 50%. So that's 50% for the investor on their their investment amount. We all have an annual allowance of £100,000, which we can invest into CDIS. And 50% is the tax relief you'll get on that investment. So if someone was to use their maximum amount, the £100,000, they'd get 50% income tax relief on that investment, which would mean that it would actually effectively cost them £50,000 because they would get £50,000 income tax relief. Now you've got to have the uh, the income tax suffered to be able to absorb that that relief. And the point to watch here: this is the fifty percent applies regardless of the marginal rate of tax of the person um, paying or making the investment. So uh, if you're a base rate taxpayer, you still get fifty percent income tax relief. So you can kind of work it around and say, well, you know, uh, twenty thousand pound investment. If you've got ten thousand pound income tax liability, then you could use it and you could get full relief for that. So very, very attractive. Fifty percent income tax relief, a huge shelter already there for the investors under this uh, tax incentive. Second one is a slightly odd one. It's a capital gains tax exemption for investors. So this applies where they are. They may perhaps have a a capital gain they've suffered elsewhere. So they may have sold a second property, for example, or they may have maybe sold some shares on the stock stock exchange and have a gain. And what they can do here is they can, if they invest into a seed enterprise investment scheme investment, uh, then they can basically exempt 50% of that gain. So the gain that they ordinarily would pay is 28% as the highest rate of uh, capital gains tax you'd pay. So the potential for 50% of that is 14%. So let's take our example of, um, let's just say somebody sold a second property and had a gain of £100,000. Now that uh, very conveniently uh, accords to the annual allowance under Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme. So if they invested that £100,000 gain into SEIS, then the £28,000 they otherwise would have paid in CGT, in capital gains tax, 50% of that is exempt. So £14,000 or 14% there is, uh, is wiped out, is eliminated, not to be paid. So uh, very attractive when you also consider they would get the 50% income tax relief as well on that £100,000. So you can quickly see there they've got to 64% effective shelter on their investment. So hugely attractive um, there and uh, there's more to come as well. So there's also inheritance tax exemption. So after two years of holding those shares, the investment falls outside the investor's uh, in inheritance tax estate. So that's uh, nice to have as well. And a real big one is after three years, all goes according to plan, the business has grown, the shares are sold by the investor, they can sell those shares free of any tax whatsoever, 100% tax free. So you know, if it's a very, very successful business, you've had all that income tax relief up front and to be able to sell the shares tax free, you can see the benefit here to investors. It's very, very significant. There's also the potential for sideways income tax relief. So this is if, heaven forbid, your uh, company should fail. The investors can claim, uh, can effectively convert a capital loss that they've suffered on their investment into an income tax loss. And uh, at the highest rate possible there, you're looking at a, an additional rate taxpayer paying tax at 45%. So 50% of that 
uh, could be um, uh, subject to this sideways loss relief, which is 22.5%. Uh, because they say the fifty percent is the is the is the half they have they haven't had yet had relief on, so twenty two and a half percent. If you total all that up, you get to eighty six point five percent tax shelter. So how do I got to that? Well, that's fifty percent income tax relief up front to start with. If they had been able to use that fourteen percent capital gains tax the, um, exemption, that's sixty four, and the twenty two and a half percent being fifty percent of the forty five percent additional rate tax gets you to eighty six point five percent tax shelter. Uh, so put another way, that's 13.5% capital they have a risk. So you can see there's a lot of the downside is already built in for the investors, which makes it hugely, hugely attractive, which is why we go on about why it's so important for you as a, as a startup to have considered this, because um, it takes a, a huge weight off there in terms of the tax reliefs and how they can get uh, investors to consider investing in your company. So that those uh, are the key tax benefits of the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme. Uh, there's plenty more tips to follow in future podcasts and videos. Uh, if you want to know more, of, you can reach out to us at IP Tax Solutions. If you want to reach out to us, uh, this podcast and video is brought to you by IP Tax Solutions, the innovation tax specialists. We cover Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme, the Enterprise Investment Scheme, and when I say there, it's, it's really helping you navigate the tax rules, seeking advance assurance, making sure you're doing all the right things in terms of structuring the company, the share capital, etc. right, to make sure you don't fall foul of the rules, and we've got plenty more tips to come in future episodes. Uh, we also do a huge amount of work in R&D tax credits in helping companies navigate, optimise and make claims under the R&D tax scheme, and also under the patent box as well. You can reach out to us via email info at iptaxsolutions.co.uk. Find us at our website, again, iptaxsolutions.co.uk. Or we have a blog at businessn2k.com, where some of you may have found us, where we cover uh, all sorts of issues, primarily around these sorts of things, but really f for fast growth companies from startup growth through to exit. And there you can find subscriptions to our podcast, etc. there as well. And you can give us a call on 0161 961 0096. And we have clients across the UK who we look after on these sorts of matters. So I hope you found that useful. My name is Steve Livingston. This podcast was brought to you by IP Tax Solutions. And please subscribe to future episodes via iTunes. And if you do find this useful, please, 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 could you uh, leave a review? Uh, because positive reviews are a good way to help other startup founders, entrepreneurs find this podcast and hopefully get the information that they need. So thanks very much for listening.